to my channel today I am doing a an affordable beauty and makeup related haul that I've done over the last couple of weeks like last two or so weeks because I've been stressed and when I'm stressed I shop it's just what I do can't help myself um so this is an accumulative haul some's been ordered online most of it's been when I've gone shopping so it's all affordable, all easy, or relatively easy to find, I would think. But without too much rambling, let's dive right on in. First up, I'm going to do the skincare. I've been obsessed with skincare lately, and I think my skin's really been thanking me for it. Like, it's been looking really, really quite good lately. Um, this is my current favourite. Really clock. That's my clock in the background done good okay so this is my current favorite moisturizer it's an everyday moisturizer by crop and i love this one you can often get it at coles for about eight dollars when it's not on special it's relatively pricey but i do like it it's got an essential oil mix and i love it um i really find that it's quite moisturizing and still light non-greasy and I think it helps with anti-aging and that kind of thing. It's quite good for the price point. William Pure Beauty Sensitive Makeup Be Gone Micellar Water. This is probably the cheapest that I have found on the market. I use this for my eye makeup remover. I have the Garnier one for my face makeup remover. But I love this one. I paid, I think, $4 for it, like $3.99 at Coles. I believe that you can get some at other supermarkets like Woolworths and Maxi's one of the more boring items but I picked up Colgate teeth optic whitening mouthwash so I picked it up from Coles for about like just over five dollars so it's not bad um, from Daiso I picked up another one of these lemon peeling I keep going like that I have to remember to go like that um, lemon peeling gels for $2.80 because this is really really phenomenal um, smells great I do have a demo of it on my channel somewhere I'll link it down below um, it's quite old though but if you guys want a review on any of these please comment down below let me know that rhyme like skin cream is so nice now if you don't like um, you know an animal byproducts or what have you you won't like this but it's Australian lanolin oil it's got um, glycerin in it and honestly I have been using it like a primer and it makes my skin so so smooth and it actually fills in the pores really well as well um, I paid three dollars for it at Coles you can get them in the little tubs I think this is old packaging from memory so lately I've been really into oils and I picked this up last week at Coles for $5, it was half off and it's not a bad little, um, like it's not marketed as a face oil but I tried it, I read all the ingredients, it's got all good ingredients, there's no mineral oil which is great because I think I'm actually allergic to mineral oil um, but I have used this once or twice and so far I quite like it, like I didn't want to splash out on my normal rosehip oil because that's like nearly twenty dollars and didn't want to spend that I know it's a men's one but I always use men's products anyway and I paid three dollars for it and it smells mm. it sm smells like a vanilla -y I don't know it just smells good I like this one I think it was last week or the week before I don't remember um I know nothing's really older than two weeks so I've only used things like once or twice don't fall over and make a mess please um but I picked up the, this hair mask and I'm actually really keen to give it a go because it's new I don't know I paid four dollars as an introductory price and I haven't used it yet but the packaging is cute um Lux I picked up again because I wanted to try a different body wash I got these for four dollars these actually remind me a lot of the Bath and Body Works products because I checked them out on Sunday Sunday Saturday when I went shopping with Kira and they look 
looks so so similar because they've all got shimmer in it and this has shimmer in it and they actually smell quite alike as well so this could be a dupe for the Bath and Body Works um, body wash that one can you see the shimmer it's really pretty it's the evenly gorgeous one and I got the Tahitian escape one both for four dollars so I picked up a few um, BH palettes now you've seen me do a demo on this already but how cute is the packaging and it's the bronze paradise palette really really cute I paid ten dollars US for it which I think equals to about thirteen dollars ish Australian dollars I've got the Missy Lynn palette which is also super duper cute I paid ten dollars again I think or nine dollars US very very cute palette um, I also got the Ashley Tisdale palette the Beach Goddess one I think I paid fourteen dollars fifty US really really pretty palette Um, I've got another one here. I got the Pride and Prejudice and the Zombies palette. It's the face and yeah, the cheek and eye palette. Like how gorgeous are those colours? Like I'll swatch that one, that one, and that one. Like really, really, really pretty. I love them. Um so from I went to the reject shop and they had only one of these and it's by Profusion and I only paid like I think it was like $2 for it Let's see They also swatch really really well So very very pretty little palette there and from Priceline I got this cute little Savvy, I nearly dropped it, Savvy palette, Savvy by DB. I picked it up because it was on clearance, I'd been seeing it eyeing it off and I'm like oh, I think it's like $2 on clearance and I can see why it's on clearance but it's been a bit knocked around but for $2 I'm not really that worried and the colours are quite pretty. And they swatch really quite well as well how many times can I say that but you guys know what I mean um last two palettes I picked up these W799 Naughty 9 palettes and my god I love them they're only five dollars guys from the chemist warehouse these are absolutely bloody gorgeous like I seriously just love them Um, for five dollars and they actually kind of remind me of the MAC palettes I got the Bangkok Nights and Midsummer Nights that's that one like look how pretty the colors are though like so pretty so smooth blend out beautifully And only five dollars okay so on to foundation I picked up two foundations don't make a mess um, I picked up two foundations I've got the Rimmel this is my um, favorite one by Rimmel now I love it picked up that I think from Coles again while they had like a 40% off sale but you can get it quite cheap. This one has surprised me a lot. I've been wearing this a lot to school, to work. It gives really, really good coverage and it sets down really, really nicely. Only $10. It's by Ulta 3 and I'm in the shade Porcelain. Is it Porcelain or Ivory? Ivory for that one and um, True Ivory for the Rimmel. Now, the last three 
things I picked up are from Essence. I picked up... Oh, sorry, last two things. I'm showing you why I got that one. My friend Tanya, Tanya sent me this little holographic one by Essence for my birthday with a whole lot of other goodies and this one is a holographic eyeshadow and it intrigued me and then when I saw this one this one is called Queen of the Amazons the purple one is that and this one is called Apricot Cockatoo now this one is just stunning Like, I'm not sure if you can quite see the reflect in that, but when it swatches, it is beautiful. Really, really, really pretty. And it should build up on the eye quite nicely. And then I also picked up. Like it's basically a silver glitter eyeshadow by Essence and the colour is Tiffany. So that one is also really, really pretty. Pretty. You're going to open it for me. Thank you, darling. <laughs> like. It's so pretty. Very, very nice so guys that was basically my affordable haul um for this week if you guys like these kind of videos you guys know what to do please subscribe it will really help me out as a small youtuber comment down below and give this video a thumbs up because as i said it would really really help me out as a small youtuber and i've hit 900 subbies so thank you so much guys i love you loads and i'll see you in the next video